Okay, before somebody asks me what's the purpose of the boost port, how's it controlled, uh, I run them on piston ports and I run them on reeds and typically they're controlled by a window. Uh, and what's the purpose of it? Well, a reed valve is a one-way check valve. And when you add this reed valve to your intake, you have considerably more crankcase volume because the pistons up, the ports open, hence all the way to the reed closing is crankcase volume. And when you add a reed, you also add the window and it gives you much more intake duration of fuel charge comes in and it's backing the crankcase full of more fuel. So hence, typically you gotta jet them richer. And what's the purpose of the boost port? Now that I have all this extra crankcase volume, uh, it tend to jet a little harder on lower RPM because you're packing in more fuel. So I add this boost port and it does not much for top end, but it makes it a lot easier to jet. It makes it so it don't load up so much on the bottom end unless you're running a whole bunch of transfer duration, then it tends to run rich. So basically another purpose and that's why i angle mine is you got to understand when the piston's traveling down your transfer's open and that fuel charge is hugging the roof of the piston coming in it's loop charge and typically it's hugging the back of the cylinder so think of it as a column of air wedged up against the back of your cylinder so i make my boost port at an angle which probably lands right in front of the spark plug at a 25 degree roof angle and think of your fuel charge as the leaning tower of pisa so i'm pushing mine more toward the center and i see people trying to change this angle right here very little benefit uh to be honest with you because it's called a scavenging effect a scavenging effect why do I run a boost port on a piston port? Normally it won't be this big, it'll be a single pass. And the purpose of that is the same scenario, two strokes have reversion, and you don't have a window on, on a piston port. And what happens is when that, when that piston slams this port closed, the fuel charge is still rushing in. And when that happens, uh, I have that little boost port that's open with the transfer, and it prevents what's called reversion. What reversion is, is the harmonic wave that shoots out the back side of the carburetor because the port slamming closed fuel charge comes in bam it's a wall bounces off your piston comes back and that's called reversion best way i can explain it real simple stuff think about what i'm talking about think about what the motor's doing and it all come to you it's it's not rocket science folks two stroke been around since the 18 uh early 1900s